Howdy folks, I'm Keith Bowen, this is Hard Rock University, and before I uh, chew up those samples right there, I needed to replace the wear paint on my RC46 Crusher, and so I'm going to show you how to do that, it's a very simple procedure, Keen only made one mistake as far as I'm concerned in designing this thing, and I wish they would just move a bolt a little bit, and I'll show you why. So, here's how it goes. Come on over here, just to keep it running. Look in here. Okay. Here's the movable jaw. Here's the fixed jaw. This is the movable jaw plate. This is the fixed jaw plate. I hard surfaced several of them just now, and so I'm changing them out just to make sure they're going to fit properly because you do get heat distortion. I'll show you how to minimize that in a minute. But anyhow, with this particular crusher, start with an Allen wrench and make sure it's in there tight. Because believe me, these things, when you strip them, they ain't a heck of a lot of other way to get it off of there. Make sure you clean out the dirt. Make sure it's in there tight. There's the upper bolt. Uh. Now, the lower bolt is behind this cover plate here. This was a non-hardened screw before, and it twisted off on me, so I put a hardened bolt in there. And so I'm not sure what it was, but right now I need a 7 16 to take it off. Pull this cover plate off. Now, there's the other bolt back in here. And this is where I wish they really would have put this somewhere else. Higher or lower, wouldn't matter to me, but it's directly in line with that screw. So I've got a special extension here that allows some play in it. And again, you go in there, and this one's just in there lightly because I've been checking these. And now the plate is free. You just kind of hold that there a second while you pull it out. That makes it a little easier. The other one, what did you do with the other socket there, Alan? No, the big socket. <laughs> On the other ratchet hand. There we go. Okay. So for this, that is a three quarters. Put it on here. Now, this plate is still kind of stuck there. So, that'll free the plate up. Move the nut, the lock washer. Come to the top. Come on. And pull it out. And that's basically the procedure. You just reverse it, put things back in. Now this is the preferred direction of hard facing. If you have lines of hard facing here, and then on the other plate, you have them between them. 
it makes for a very efficient grind and the material can slide down easily. However, I'm not a really great welder. So, I was welding this plate crossways because it's a lot easier on me. And this one right here was kind of curved in a way I didn't want, so I added these beads to do nothing else but to kind of reshape the plate. When you go to hard face the uh, wear plates in an RC46, it will tend to curve on you because of heat distortion. To minimize that, you take and clamp it like this with a little spacer between them. And those edges are actually wider than the center is. It kind of dishes in two directions. That will uh, tend to prevent that distortion. Once you let it cool and relieve that, it'll be almost flat. Otherwise, it's way far from flat. So, put it back together again. Yeah, just reverse the process. And these plates are reversible too. They'll go either way so you can wear out one side, flip it over, and you're back in business. Go ahead and flip this over while we're at it. As a matter of fact, I don't know. We'll just wear that out. I have extra bolts. I would strongly recommend you get one of these crushers. You get some extra bolts and at least one extra pair of plates from Keen so that you can have it sitting waiting for you and when you change them if those hex sockets get screwed up at all you just go ahead and replace that bolt you do not want the hassle of trying to get one open get one out of there yeah see this is just turning okay good finally bit come on get in there oh. This is probably not going to fit too well. We'll see if we can make it work. Nope. Come on and bite this stupid thing. Okay, that one's tight. Now, it's really fun with these. To hang it in there. So, top bolt in first to take the weight of the plate. That's unfortunate. Luckily it's big enough it comes out easy. And where's the other screw? And again, this is where that little misalignment thing becomes a real pain in the butt. Because you can't just take that extension and easily line that up. I, mean, I know why they put that cross piece there, because that's where that cover plate hangs. But they could have made a little bit bigger bracket on the cover plate. On the whole, I'm happy with this thing, but that just gets annoying. And because this is a crusher and you have lots of dirt and extreme forces, make sure to check these bolts after a little bit of use and make sure that they haven't backed off because they had a little dirt behind them. The new plates are in place.
take the and this rubber thing here goes on top of the roller Put it like that gently <laughs> and it's done that's all it takes it's a pretty simple system if you have extra plates each one of these will last eight hours or so with hard quartz on each side so that's 16 hours of operation that's 16 hours of operation last I checked a complete set of jaw plates is like 75 bucks so hard face them have some spare bolts on hand have extra plates on hand so you don't have to stop in the middle of a shift and this little baby does a great job Happy prospecting and keep it safe out there.